time. Isn't it? Yeah, man. Second defense. We're here now. We're moving on to big things. You know, um, you want to see the big fights and the names, and you can see that we're one uh, we're one step away from that. But we need to kind of get over this hurdle as well. But um, yeah, 18 months, and also not only judge me in 18 months. It was look at the names I'll be fighting. So as I said, we're nearly there now. Yeah. You've said that you're not just training for Eric Merlina for this fight, you're training for the long game. What do you mean by that? Like just developing my skill. Like if I was just training for Eric Merlina, I'd probably look at him and think, as he said, I'm looking for one shot. You know, I've got to go in there and just hit him with a left hook and I'm going to knock Eric Merlina out. But this is about like learning how to keep my balance, staying off the line, defending shots and countering. So you can do it with every type of style because Melina says he's looking for one pop shot. He might come out there and try and box with me and start hitting me down the middle. So you just never know. So what we're training for is dealing with all types of styles across the board. And how important is the relationship with Rob McCracken? This one? If you saw the way we were training, that's a no. Nah. We train hard, man. We train hard. And as he said, like Rob said, the last camp was tough against Brazil. I thought I'd knock him out in two rounds and I was a bit run down. But I thought, you know, I'd get him out of there. Which in the second round he was hurt. But I didn't finish him off, so this fight I've kind of lived a life, I've been focused, so hopefully, hopefully the hard work pays off. Keep your hands up, <laughs> don't stay in one position, and make sure you hit and don't get hit. And that is the science of boxing, you know, and that's how you win fights, right? Against big punchers, you know, against people who are swinging wild shots in and trying to knock you out. Um, I have this in my day-to-day -day in my sparring camps, people trying to knock me out and fresh fighters coming in like every three rounds, he gets out and new one comes in fresh. So I know how to deal with a fighter that comes with that uh, type of style. As a growing name in the sport, as well, someone is like a big prospect and a lot of hopes for, how do you deal with the fact that he thinks you, you need a spectacular win? How do you overcome that? Kind of well, if you look at the fight where Evander Holyfield boxed, before he boxed Tyson, people were writing him off and saying he was trash. Then he went in and beat Tyson and did the unexpected. So it's all about winning, because this fight doesn't define me. This isn't my, my last hurrah. I've got a long time to go. So yeah, it is about performance, because it, it adds value to your stock. But for me, it's about getting that W one way or another. And what are you looking to do on Saturday night? What is a good night's work? Win, that is it, win. Final one for me, AJ. There's been a lot of talk in your camp as to whether you can or can't rap. Yeah, yeah. You said you're lethal when it comes to rapping. Yeah. Your strength and conditioning coach, he says he's not too convinced. What can you do to prove it? Drop a little rap. You ready? You ready? Drop a beat, cuz. <laughs> well, it's silly. It's just silly. He knows better than that. He's a fighter himself. It's not that simple. Unless like he gets blessed from the gods of boxing, it's not going to be that simple. And that's why fighters train and they have three-month camps to kind of prepare themselves in the best way possible to try and stop these things from happening. So I think he knows um, in his heart of hearts, um, he's probably talking from a place of passion, not reality. Yes. All right. Um, you asked if I could rap. You asked me to prove it. Saturday night, I'm not thinking about losing. To the belt, since back in the day I've been cruising. I'm just hustling, gonna keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't affect me, man. I've been able to use all these odds, I've been able to use all this criticism to push me uh, in ways uh, further than I thought that I could actually uh, perform. My training speaks for itself. I've been putting in everything, I'm in great shape, and now it's just to keep my, my mental focus straight and, and uh, come on and fight hard. Okay, no. It wasn't just the Poland fight. Um, I mean, I started off with a, with a, with that fight that I had with Wilder, getting in with Wilder, going through the many rounds with uh, injured, even able to win some rounds injured, um, even s some uh, some heavyweight title training camps that I've been after that, and uh, I just feel the level I'm on right now. Uh, he's he's getting me at the best Molina of my career. So I'm confident, I'm focused, I'm relaxed. I've been in these fights before. The talk is done. We need to go out and fight already. That's you're, you're working on this one knockout blow. I mean, how many witnesses to see Joshua's defense? Not not many. Joshua's very sound, very athletic. Uh, very, he's a lot. He does a lot of things well. But uh, like every fighter, there's there every every fighter's got strengths and weaknesses, and. Uh, we're hoping to, to land big on some of his weaknesses. I mean, you have a lot of stuff. Oh man, this is it for me. I won't have another shot. This is it. I'm looking at this fight like that's it, you know. I, I'm going to fight like this is my last opportunity to become heavyweight world champ. If it's my destiny to be a heavyweight champ, it won't be on any other night but December 10th. Thank you guys. I'm sorry, that's it now. Thank you. Should have come through. Thank you.